From the TraderGuy.com, this is Chris taking a look at the Euro dollar, and we're heading into the 20th of June as I record this. We just got our Federal Reserve statement that was dumbish, but not necessarily trying to kill the dollar. And that makes sense as to what we're seeing on the charts now. I'll go ahead and point out that I am completely zoomed out at this point in a downward channel. And then I have a red line at 111 based upon previous support from that cluster that has held. So as I zoom in, we'll take a look at the possibility of where we are going next. And you can see that the 50-day EMA is starting to flatten out a little bit. The 200-day EMA is still above. That being said, I think we are probably going to continue to bang around in this little box here between 113 and a half and 111 and the reason i think that is uh, multiple reasons we've got the ecb stepping in front of the fed saying hey look we're dovish too and now the federal reserve looking more likely to cut rates later in this year and that's something the markets had started to price in in the stock markets the currency markets haven't quite done that and i think draghi trying to step out in front of Powell and, and get this thing moving. So with that in mind, I think we're going to see a bit of a stalemate. Makes sense. Plus, we're in the dead of summer. Not a lot gets done in the dead of the summer, typically. Not always. But as a general rule, it is a bit quieter. So with all of that being said, I believe that we're stuck in this range and we are going to be. If for some reason we were to break above 113.5, 114.5 is your next resistance barrier. A break down below 111 opens the door to 110. We're kind of in the middle here, so there isn't a whole lot to do right now. And what I will do this summer, the next couple of, uh, at least the next two months, is pay extra special attention to 111 and 113.5. First sight of a reversal candle at either one, I'm willing to take the trade in the reversal direction. Longer term, once we get through to the later part of the year, I think people will start to focus more on that dovish Fed. If that's going to be the case, this was your bottom, or maybe we'll have to test it one more time. I think people are trying to get ahead of a softer U.S. dollar. This would be a major trend change, and these things, they're very messy. You can see how it played out last time we changed trends. Or down here, it's not easy to change trends in a massive currency pair like this, especially the euro dollar, which likes to chip around and go back and forth. So this is a long-term bottoming process. Over the next couple of months, though, I think we're stuck in this little box. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you got any questions, uh, reach out.